Hi, buddy, and welcome to Canada's in the Kitchen. Harry McCullough stepping in once more with our good chef, Georgie Caslow. How you doing, big man? Good, Harry. How are you today? Great. You took a little vacation? Well, not really a vacation, but we miss you for a couple of weeks. Glad a little rest. You, everything little okay? Rest. You good to go? Yeah, real good. Good to go. And you're back in the kitchen. We a little rest. Yeah, we want to thank Tony and Leo for stepping in last week. Great and, to uh, have them. Great to have those guys. Uh, today, we're talking a little meat and uh, some great produce on sale this exactly. week at Canada's. Huh? Now let's start with the produce. I know we spent a lot of time last week uh, on, on meats. First of all, we've got some beautiful golden delicious apples. Now, I've also at the store, we've got red delicious, and here you'll see Granny Smith, the green ones. Now, just if I could point out the difference here between the golden delicious and the red delicious. Is there any okay. difference in taste there? Okay, yeah, it tastes about the same. Mm -hmm. Appearance, color, when you're making platters and things like right. that, you gotta take that into consideration. Right. And the Granny Smith is not really an eating apple where you would pick it up and eat it. The Granny Smith is more of a cooking, cooking. apple. Right, I see. All right, now here we've got some black seedless grapes. These right. are Californias. Sure. Okay, we have them also uh, this week on sale at the store. Now, moving into vegetables, we've got some beautiful mushrooms. And what I did was, I took these mushrooms and left them whole so I could show you the size. And if I did want to stuff one, all I would have to do, pull the inside out. Stuff that baby right there. Okay, give it a stuff. Mushrooms are good, man. Now, how do you think I kept them so white? Uh, you washed okay. them? No, what I did was I gave them a squirt of lemon. Oh, that's good. okay. And a little bit of acid will keep the mushroom Nice. That's from good turning to know. dark. That's great to know. Okay, so that's a good one to know. While I'm here, let me mention a couple of specialty items. Dana made sure I'm going to mention them. Well, Dana, Dana's absolutely, absolutely. Now, what I have here are a couple of imported Irish products. I've got a beautiful right. Irish butter. All right. Now this is a heavy cream, sweet cream with milk, butter. Right. Made the old fashioned way. Right. Okay, the brand name is Kerry Gold. Kerry Gold, Kerry excellent, Gold. Pure give it a try. Irish butter. Yes, excellent. No, no alcohol in it. No alcohol. I'm Irish so I can joke about it. Now, we've also <laughs> got by Kerry Gold, and this is Dubliner, Dubliner cheese, which in is, the style of Dublin. Right. Which okay. is the uh, capital of Ireland, right? In fact, uh, you'll see, you'll notice the logo. You'll become <laughs> right. more familiar with it as these products. Quick joke. Uh, not a joke, but Take may it. your luck always be like the capital of Ireland. Always Dublin. Always Dublin. There you go. Very good. Yes, I know that. All right, let's get to the star of the show. Here we go. Oh, that's a good looking piece. Porterhouse. Now, this is an inch, right? This is one inch. Now, I am not going to ruin what I plan to do, but Ooh, this is an inch and a half. That and if good. we take a look at it from a slightly different angle, we might be able to see and compare the thickness. This is one and a half inches. That looks good. By the way. You gotta know how to cook that baby, don't you? Bone in. T-bone. Right. Bone in. Now, now we, you, we were talking, now, when you're talking about a porterhouse, you're actually talking about a T-bone and a sirloin, right? Yeah, so what you're talking about, porterhouse has two parts. Okay. Okay. It has the filet mignon and it has the New York strip. So you get both. Exactly. Now, this is a great steak if you're out on a date and you want to share. Sure. sure. Sit on the same side of the booth. You take something like this, <laughs> <laughs> sit on the same side of the booth, you put it on. You let it cook. This is high end. Right. Now you could spend three or four times the price and go to a Roots Chris and or a high end or restaurant. Yeah. Or you can get the exact same piece of meat. Certified Angus beef, top 8% of all meat right. produced in the United States. Wow. That's great. This guarantees the top end of the choice quality grade and above. So it's always certified Angus over Canada. Exactly. And very often you get in prime. Right. 
okay, and which that's is like certified top Angus one beef. One or two percent, right? And that's yeah. the top three percent. Now, um, we, we talk about marbleization or, or marbling, uh, and, and that's the, the fat inside here, which is a good thing for Excellent. taste and, and, and for cooking. Excellent. Outside fat is a different story. Right? Now, surface fat should not exceed a quarter of an inch. And if Although you got a shot of this sometimes. surface fat, you can see a perfect example right here where the surface fat is approximately a quarter of an inch. Right. No more. And the surface fat should be evenly distributed, and that's to protect the steak as it's on the grill. Now, if you take a look at it from this end, you'll notice the surface fat And it's protecting, protecting the meat while you're cooking. The piece of meat you cut that off. while it's being cooked. Right. Okay? Now, while we're here, let me give you a little on my special cutting board. Now, what'd you, do to, what'd you do to that uh, steak? You just These are steak fingers. Oh, okay. Okay? So what I did was I did some cutting on these beautiful CAB, Certified Angus Beef Porterhouse, and any little trimmings and end cuts that I had that looked beautiful, I rolled them up in bacon, nice. Nice. stuffed them. Here we go. Now, you just have meat in there? You have mushrooms? You got anything else in there? No mushroom. Just no mushroom, no jalapeno. Just meat, and, meat and bacon. Just a little ground, ground meat. It's a beautiful item. Oh, I and see. So you I use could eat this a ton of these. Plus the cuttings of this inside there. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Now, getting back to the porterhouse for a second, you're going to notice this bone right here. And this is your T bone. T bone. And it runs from the tip end of the main muscle all the way through to the end of the cut. And here's the T. Right here, just right. like this. So if you order, okay. So if you order a, you, know, you order a, a fillet, you get this piece. You order a New York strip, you get this piece. If you order a T-bone, they cut it right in here, right? If you order a T-bone, you do not get the fillet. Any of the or fillet. Just part, yeah. You only get the New York strip on the bone. I see. That's what they call it—a T-bone. That's getting more popular now. That bone-in. You know, bone in bone for in, flavor, right, Harry. Right. Bone in for flavor, absolutely. Okay. Now, while we're here, in order to finish a big steak like this, you go in the oven. I want to talk to you for a minute about this uh, uh, ground beef. Well, I tell you what, we need to uh, take a break, and when we come back, we'll start with the ground beef. We'll take Excellent. a look at what you're cooking there, because, boy, something an inch and a half thick, we we'll to make sure that baby's cooked. <laughs> you want to make sure it's cooked. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with Kanata's in the kitchen.